Hello there YouTube and welcome to another video. So today's video, I wanna just highlight really quick how to uh, prepare yourself for uh, the dungeon mutators. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on. I want to uh, just highlight all the things that you're gonna wanna do to prepare yourself to get the different resources. Uh, so you can get as many mutated expedition tuning orbs as possible uh, to prepare for the update. So there's two ways to go about getting the uh, mutated orbs. Uh, one is gonna be to craft them at the uh, stone cutting table. Uh, so we'll go down to the Mutated Expedition Tuning Orb. Uh, it's really not too bad in terms of uh, crafting these. You only need one Corrupted Lodestone, uh, one Chisel, ten Rune Stones, five Energy Cores, and uh, the kind of crazy um, resource they've thrown in there for this is the powerful uh, Gemstone Dust, which we'll kind of get into in a second here. But uh, not too bad on uh, the resources that you need. Uh, the really nice thing is the Corrupted Lodestones. It looks like uh, these are going to be uh, tradable items. Now, they're probably going to be pretty hefty on the um, on the trading post once this is implemented into the game. Uh, but it looks like you're going to be able to just buy all of these uh, resources. The Corrupted Crystals, the Lodestones, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's probably going to be pretty pricey, if I had to guess. The people are going to probably charge a lot for the Corrupted Lodestones. Um, on the market when uh, when that's available live on the servers, but at least you're not uh, forced to run a thousand uh, portal runs um, yourself. If you just want to buy one, uh, you're going to be able to do that or trade uh, with friends um, to be able to help each other out if if needed as well to make these. So that's kind of a cool feature I like, um, especially with the mutated orb only needing one lodestone is really nice as well uh, and then they've also changed uh, on the side they've also changed the amount of uh, tuning orbs just basic orbs you can make lazarus orbs you can make two uh, gen you can only make two instead of it would being one and three uh, each week so uh, the the threshold on the cooldown for the mutated orbs is one per week uh, so you're gonna only be able to make one of these per week uh, but this is not the only way to get the orbs, um, you're going to be able to buy these from the faction vendor. So stack up on your faction tokens. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get faction tokens in the game. Uh, faction tokens are kind of annoying to farm, but um, you know, if you just stack them up, don't really spend anything in the shop for a little while until this uh, goes live and you should be able to stack up a decent amount of faction tokens. Uh, but it's going to be kind of a hefty price for faction tokens. It's going to be 10k faction tokens with a um, thousand gold. Uh, so you'll be able, the faction cap is 75k uh, in, in tokens, so you'll be able, if you are capped out, you'll be able to buy 7 of these if you have 7k gold. Uh, so if every week uh, you can get to 70k faction tokens, and then you can get uh, 7k gold, and you can craft one each week, you can at least have 8 orbs on you as a person, and uh, that's a lot of runs. So you'll be able to stack these up, and uh, it doesn't seem to be like crazy difficult to get these orbs, which is something I like. Still got to grind for it, still got to work for it, but at least you'll be able to acquire these a lot easier than uh, than it seems. So farming faction tokens, um, I mean, the best way to, fax to farm faction tokens probably is going to be, uh, you know, either Shattered Mountain doing PvP quests, um, doing PV, you know, if you want to be uncontested, doing PvP quests in your own territory that's maybe not being contested or putting into conflict. Um, if you and your company or... Uh, people are running uh, PvP missions to put another territory into conflict because you want to do a war. That's a good way to get faction tokens as well. Um, but essentially, uh, you know, doing wars, doing invasions, you get faction tokens. Uh, Shattered Mountain and Eden Grove and Great Cleaver are still going to give out a decent amount of faction tokens as well, along with uh, like Reek Water. Uh, but the PvP missions in Reek Water are just completely different now, so they're not the greatest to farm. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would just kind of run PvP quests pvp pve quests if you want uh however you want to go about it to, to just get as many faction tokens as possible i know that shattered mountain gives a lot in terms of pvp quests so if you want to get a group together go run pvp quests in shattered mountain mm -hmm. that's probably not a bad route to take um that's probably what i'm going to do i don't really see another option that's great maybe just run pvp or pve quests in your own territory as well so so i'll kind of dive into the resources that you need to get um how to get each resource uh, to make the orb uh so corrupted lodestone that's going to be the same thing as you're making orbs now that's just going to be you're running uh corrupted zones portals monoliths uh to be able to get fragments so that you can upgrade the shards the crystals to lodestones uh still so be able to still do that the chisel is going to come from the faction vendor Rune stones. Uh, so this is where it comes into play of the of the gemstone dust and the rune stones kind of being one intertwined 
um, farming method to get these. Uh, so my plan is I'm probably going to um, I'm probably going to farm stone blocks out of my mind. Uh, get a lot of sandpaper, do stone blocks, stone bricks, get the lodestone, make obsidian void stone, and just make my own rune stones. Um, and while doing that, you're going to be leveling up your stone cutting aptitude. Uh, so while leveling up your stone cutting aptitude, you're going to get stone cutting boxes that are going to drop a ton of uh, purple gems. Uh, pristine onyxes, pristine diamonds, pristine just any gems. Uh, so when you when you get those from the box, after doing the stone cutting of making rune stones, you'll be able to go over to the outfitting station, and that's where you're where you will make the gemstone dust. It doesn't take a lot, um, but you'll be able to if you can stack enough uh, of the pristine gems that you get from those boxes, you'll just be able to make ten powerful gemstone dust pretty easily. So that's kind of my plan is to is to do it that way. Um, now the thing about the gemstone dust is you do need a certain level in jewel crafting, I, I believe. You need 170 jewel crafting. So here's the thing about this one is you're going to probably need to find somebody that uh, can do this for you or uh, level up gem, uh, you know, jewel crafting for yourself. Either or. Um, I don't have jewel crafting. My jewel crafting on the live server is like level like 4 or 5 or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna have to be able to just give these resources to somebody in my company or somebody I know uh, to make these for me So keep that in mind You do need 170 uh, jewel crafting for that. Um, so with that in mind um, That's probably the best way to to do that is you're gonna want to just do a bunch of stone cutting You'll get pristine gems out of the boxes uh, try to make your own rune stones and then um, you'll be able to make powerful gemstone dust um, once again, you'll, you will need to have uh, 200 stone cutting to make your own uh, rune stones. If not, you're just going to have to buy most of the resources off the market. And then energy cores, that's going to be kind of a pain to make. Um, you're going to need five of these, so you're going to need a lot of moats. Um, but it looks like they did tone down the moats in terms of elemental hearts and eternal hearts. So they used to be 50 apiece, now they're only 30 apiece, so they did tone down the moats a little bit. And uh, you're going to need to make five energy cores, which takes one elemental one eternal heart so this is every moat in the game you're gonna need all seven types of moats 30 of each will make um will make one and uh, you'll need to make five energy cores uh, so it's not too bad you will need to farm a decent amount of moats or buy them off the store um whatever uh, you know works best for you but that's pretty much gonna be it for the video uh, i just wanted to highlight what uh, to prepare for what you should be stocking up what you should be ready to do uh, when this update goes live for your mutated expedition tuning orbs. Yeah, if you find this video helpful, if you guys like the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.